What's up guys, my name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a really short video for you on how to make CSGO 4x3. Now this video is going to apply to NVIDIA graphics cards. If you're not using an NVIDIA graphics card, the process will be somewhat similar, though it'll be a little bit different. There's two ways of doing this. One way, just using CSGO, which will probably work, but your game will end up not looking as good as it could in 4x3 stretched. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now before we get into the crispier, more customized option. So we'll go ahead and open up Counter-Strike. Once CSGO is open, head into the settings menu, followed by video, and then at the very top, we'll find all of this over here. So what we're mainly looking at is aspect ratio and resolution. If we select aspect ratio and change it to 4x3, we can see that we can go up to 1920 by 1440. This is actually the perfect resolution for me on my screen, and it's the highest that it should be. Though for some people, you may see one of these lower options, and that usually happens for 1080p screens, 1920 by 1080, though whatever your results are, it can differ. So after changing it to 4x3, the highest resolution available, and full screen, after hitting apply, our game will then stretch out. For me in OBS, I've now got black bars, but on my screen it has properly scaled, and if I were to hop into a game, people would be shorter and fatter, as you'd expect with 4x3. I'm going to go ahead and change back to normal widescreen and hit apply. And now we can get into the second half of the video that I mentioned earlier. Now if you head back to your normal screen resolution and you set it to as high as it can go, or you have a look at your actual monitor's resolution through Windows, you'll see that it looks something like this, 2560 by 1440 for 2K, 1920 by 1080 for 1080p, etc, etc. What we're going to do is look at the smaller of the two numbers, which is the vertical height, 1080 pixels or 1440. If we head across to the 4x3 section and we don't see one ending with the same height, i.e. 1440 or 1080, then that resolution is not supported by Counter-Strike natively from these options and we'll have to manually add it ourselves. We'll go ahead and quit out of the game back to our desktop. Now again, you don't need to go into the second half of this video if you do have that correct 4x3 resolution. However, if you end up here, then there's one simple thing that we need to do. We need to go ahead and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. After right-clicking on our desktop and clicking NVIDIA Control Panel, we're now in the correct place. So if I head across to the Adjust Desktop Size and Position menu under Display, what we'll do is we'll scroll down a little bit and find the Scaling section. Then we'll make sure to have Full Screen selected and for Perform Scaling On, I usually pick a GPU, though for some people, you'll have a display option. If you're using a really underpowered GPU, then having this as display might be better, though if your display is having issues with this next step, then changing it to GPU may help. And some people have this override option checked, though I don't currently, as I don't really need to. If you have issues with this next part, then checking that or changing where the scaling is performed may help. So then we'll next head across to the Change Resolution tab, so before we get into creating custom resolutions, if necessary, simply make sure that 4x3 isn't already an option here. However, if you're not sure what a 4x3 resolution is for your monitor, we're going to go ahead and do some simple math. So my highest resolution for this display over here is 2560 by 1440 What I'll do is I'll either open up a calculator or I'll head across to Google. Then in the Google search box, I'll type in the vertical height of my screen, which was 1440, though yours might be 1080, 2160, etc, etc. Then I'll hit the star for multiply, and I'll enter and open and close brackets. Inside of them, I'll add 4 forward slash 3, 4 divided by 3. So 1440 times 4 over 3 gives us 1920, which is the correct horizontal resolution for a 4 by 3 2K display. So looking at this list over here, if you see 1920 by 1440 or whatever number came out in that previous math calculation, then your screen already supports it. Simply select it, click apply, and then launch up your game and select the correct resolution in the options menu. Of course, as we saw before, there wasn't a 4x3 stretched resolution, though if you set your monitor's resolution to that, start up the game, select 4x3, the option should magically appear in that drop-down list where it wasn't previously. However, assuming that it's not on this list, Simply make sure that you have the correct display selected, scroll down and click Customize. Then we'll see this pop up over here. We're going to go ahead and create a custom resolution. So remembering that our screen was 1440 pixels high and it should be 1920 wide for 4x3, I'll click Create Custom Resolution and in here we'll go ahead and enter that. So horizontal 1920 by 1440 which is correct. Then we'll make sure the refresh rate is correct, color depth is correct, 
And for most modern screens, it'll be progressive, though if you have an old 720i or 1080i screen, it will be interlaced. Then as for timing, most of the time you'll leave this as automatic. If you change it to one of the ones below this and customize the settings, overclocking or underclocking your screen can cause some damage. So it's a very good idea to leave that on automatic and simply leave it as such. Then when you have the correct options punched in, simply click the test button and your screen will go black and then eventually it should come back on. Assuming that it doesn't come back on, simply wait 10 to 15 seconds and your settings will revert. Otherwise, you'll get a big OK button that you can click and things will work great. After you've done that, you'll see it on the list over here. Simply make sure it's checked, hit OK, and we should see it appear on this list over here. Though because it is already here, I don't actually need to add it myself, though it should be under a new category at the very top. If you'd like to remove it later, you can simply customize, hit the X, click delete, and it's gone. Okay, and assuming that we have the correct 4x3 resolution selected, our Windows desktop will now be stretched. Upon opening up the game, you should see the new resolution under the 4x3 menu. Simply selecting it will make your game look as good as possible. Anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!